the story about it. You're brutal. You're upstaging this very important series. 1952, the tradition started. A seafood restaurateur thought it'd be a good idea to throw an octopus on the ice because he felt the eight tentacles, yuck, would represent the eight wins required to win the cup. Not only did they win eight, they won eight straight, sweeping the Canadians and the Maple Leafs, and hence all the octopi here at the well, arena. That was when Terry Sontuck his first year, four shutouts. All right, we're going to show this here. Great series coming up. You know what I predicted? Here, take that. Yeah, well, geez. Disgusting. Disgusting. I've done a lot of nutsy things on Hockey Night in Canada, but that was the worst. See McLean jump? Well, here we are at the great Hockey Hall of Fame. I'll tell you, it's beautiful here. And we're honored to do Rock'em Sock'em 7 here. So are you ready? Let's go! Well, here it is, folks, the Stanley Cup. I'll tell you, folks, to win this, you got to have a lot of hard work and sweat. And you know, to win it, you have to pay the price. You think not? Watch this. I admire the pass. Whoops. Look out, Dennis! Pearson and Featherstone working in the pits. I love it. Dino Cicerelli paying the price in the corners. Hey, I love these guys. Nice elbow. You can tell this is the playoffs. And that's what I mean, paying the price. Now watch these magic hands. Hey, let's see that again in slow-mo. Nifty move by Fedorov to Kozlov. Got to admit, that's a great move. Hey, instead of magic hands, it's magic feet by Janny. You know, I'm often asked what I mean by second effort. Just watch my buddy Cam. What a beauty. Watch Saki feather these passes. Boy, I love that, Wendell. Basson to Krupp to Basson and in. The Avalanche are going to miss this little grinder. Hey, my buddy little Stevie Wonder starts it to Sillinger to Shepard. A little hesitation and in top corner. The captain, Mark Messier, to tough guy Nick Kiprios. Nice hands, Nick. Nick says, nice one, Mark. Okay, now watch these two beauties by Adam Oates, the unknown superstar of the league. 
How many of you knew he had more points than anybody in the league in the last four years? And with Kevin Stevens, you know it's going to continue. Gilbert one-handed to Tardif. Okay, nice play by the MVP. The most valuable pass to Scott Stevens. Back to Claude and in. Pavoka to my favorite, Dale Hunter. Remember what I said, kids? Stick on the ice. Tic-tac-toe, Connor Walchuk. Gee, I love that name. To Dale, to Jones. A nice one by Bill Guerin to Rawson, and Brian says, it's a nice pass. Woo-wee. Cavallini to Gilchrist. I love those second efforts, folks. And that's what I love about magic hands and second efforts. Well, Anyhow, I want to say something. Uh, little Ferrer guy running uh, Patrick Waugh, and that is absolutely ridiculous to me. Nothing happens to the guy. You're going to say, why didn't Odeline or somebody do something? Think of this a few years ago. Somebody runs Dryden like that. Butch Bouchard, Pierre to nail him, Robinson to nail him. You can't now. It's open season. The big defensemen used to take care of the goaltenders. Can't now because the instigator rule. The worst rule ever put into sports. It's open season on guys. See a like this? Do you think he gets maybe run into a while? Doesn't matter. Watch. Watch this here coming now. Look. Now watch. Watch his left arm, as Dick said. Watch him following through. He follows through and gives him a shot. Yeah. Like that. I mean, you know. Yeah, shut up, uh, you little. You know, folks, that ever since they've taken the pipes out of the goalposts and the guys know they're not going to get hurt, they have no respect for the goalies. Let's watch. So mad he's not going to take it anymore. You know, goalies hate this more than anything. Getting whacked after the whistle, that's not right. Dive here. Woo, that's no dive. Hey, Ronnie Hextall's one of those guys. He won't take it. Okay, kids, remember now, have a little respect for the goalie, even though Irby cuts Kennedy for 40 stitches here. You know, folks, the most amazing thing in hockey to me is watching goalies react to rebounds, starting with Eddie the Eagle. Abarachi. Oh. 
Roussel. Kirby. Roussel again. Defoe. Keep it all. Heavy Boland or something like that. Healy. Locker. Richter. Okay, it's that love cop or something like that. Now watch McIver say two in a row here. I know it's not rebounds, but watch L.A. Kelly Rudy stop two penalty shots. This one is by Fedorov in OT. Boy, what a beauty glove save, strictly Hollywood. Bobby Orr, the greatest hockey player who ever lived and who ever will live, scoring that overtime goal. Look at him flying through the air. Now take a gander at these OT goals. Starting with Chicago's hard rock defenseman, Chris Chelios. Hey, you remember on Coach's Corner in the playoffs, I said, watch for the defenseman scoring in overtime, coming in late. Now watch these. And look, nobody picks him up again. You gotta pick up that late guy. It's deja vu all over again. Now remember, kids, I always tell you, when you're around the net, keep that stick on the ice. You never know when the puck's gonna come out. Now watch this. See, if his stick was up six inches, he wouldn't have scored. Stick on the ice at all the time around that net. Hey, we make Kirk look pretty bad. Now watch these beauties to keep them in there. And now, some nice moves by the cap. Poulin can't believe it. Nice glove. <laughs> 